Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, hang on, it's not Thursday, it's, it's Friday. So that means that I missed the update video. Well, I've not actually missed it, we're doing it right now, and I wanted to spend a little bit of time with these sealable airlocks to actually see what they're capable of. So let's actually have a look at the block we're working with. Now it looks like some sort of statue, and by hitting this button, we can actually see it retracts in and out like so. It actually retracts into itself into this really nice and simple folding design. So a single block then extends out into three. Now, the biggest part of this block is its ability to actually make a pressure seal around hangers and airlocks like we've got over here. But first off, let's just have a quick look at some of its functions. So we're gonna go into the hood and we're gonna have a look so we can see the airtight hanger door. And we're going to place one in the environment right next to it. You can see how it butts up quite nicely. And we're going to find the control panel and then go inside. So it's really simple. It works just like a door. There's nothing complicated about it. There's no air, gas, pressure releases or anything. It's just a simple open and close door. Very cool indeed. Now let's actually try opening an airlock that I've done here. So inside this area, there's a hanger that is pressurized. So we're going to open that up here. And I've set a little bit of a timer block up that I'll show you exactly how it works shortly. So the first stage of the actual hanger block is the depressurization of the cells, followed by the very quick succession of the doors opening. Very cool. You can see it now this area is open. There's no oxygen here at all. But if we seal this up, with us in it you'll actually see there's a three second countdown that turns the decompressors back on and then the doors start to swing shut so now these generators are on and as soon as they get a seal they'll pump a lot of oxygen back into here the oxygen that's originally been pulled out of this room has been pulled back into this tank saving the power and you can see how it's been pushed back into the room and it's filling up this area very fast now i've also got a smaller airlock here into a supply shed in the back and you can see that it's lowering down. So you can make yourself some really cool sort of spacey sort of doors with these. You could also use them as covers for different weaponry systems and different sorts of trap doors as well. Just really what you allow your imagination to do. Now moving into this room, we actually have a turret. And I want to show you this turret because some new features have actually been added to it. So let's go into the control panel at the back. So as you can see here, we have the ability for it to target individual targets at once you can see we've got tag characters and we've got some of the ones that we've actually seen before well the most important part of this is that it can actually decipher between multiple targets at once so it's pretty cool pretty little interesting new feature to show you guys let's have a look at the next one so you can get quite creative with what you do with these airtight anger doors. You don't necessarily have to use them to keep air within an area. You could use them something like a thruster shield, like the King Software developers actually showed you in their video. You could also use it as a hidden place to hide a deadly defensive weapon, such as in this case, we've got this sort of dome-like structure. That's not particularly super beautiful, but inside it, we actually have a very deadly rocket launcher. Now, talking about rocket launchers, they have been nerfed just a little. So we're going to actually do some tests to see how much damage they actually do now. So I've set up a number of different targets with the rocket launchers in front of them. Even though both the rocket launchers actually still fire the same projectile, we'll see the results. So this is a small rocket launcher at large light armor. Okay, so we've got a much smaller hole than before. And I don't even believe it's a hole, actually. It just looks like a little bit of a dint like we had before. Let's actually try firing a larger rocket launcher at the light armor, see if it does much more damage or not that much difference at all. So we've got the exact same result. So it's pretty much confirmed, I think, that these are firing the same rocket. And I've done a few other tests repeating this. I've repeated this test completely about three times. So this is the final results that I'm actually giving you. So, and let's try the little rocket on heavy armor. Once again, just a small dint. Let's try the bigger rocket on heavy armor. I don't think we're going to get much of a different result. No, pretty much exactly the same so far. Now, this is where it might get a little bit interesting. We've got light armor and we've got a small rocket. We'll fire that one up. Okay, so we've got a small hole. Let's try that against the heavy light armor. Okay, so you can see that there's definitely a whole difference. You've got the hole in the light armor and this has actually managed to withstand. Now, previously the heavy armor 
took a little bit more of a beating but you can see how it's actually fluctuated into the target behind as well very interesting very interesting indeed but i think that's to do with the landing gear and the positioning of the actual objects itself so maybe the actual warhead penetrated through and did damage to the target it seems like it does more damage to the heavy armor when it penetrates through like this now let's try firing the least much larger rockets at the same one same size rockets just a different size pod so we've got the same result on the small armored target a nice small penetrating hole and on the larger target I think we've got the same result again we've not got any penetration so these weapons have been nerfed so your ships will be able to take more substantial fire from the rockets themselves very cool and a good balance aspect I think in this case so to wrap up this video, I want to conclude by thanking the developers for these updates that they put out. Now, these updates they do are pretty much standard at this moment and we expect them, but every week they're adding new and exciting little features to the game and many of the games don't develop at this speed. It's absolutely crazy at the speed that Space Engine has developed and more importantly, how they listen to our feedback and implement items into the game. Just like this, there was a lot of dispute going, how can I get my ship inside an oxygen sort of based environment and they've come up with a solution in the next week's update and it is a pretty damn smooth block. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.